How's it going, guys? We're going to pick right back up where we were working on the uh, Tier 3 Heavy Plates. And so, one thing I'd like to say is there are quite a few steps, and one of them involves carbon. And carbon is kind of a pain. Uh, the easiest way to get carbon, though, is like this. So, turn coal into carbon. And I have this locked to create carbon ingots. Throw that in there and create carbon ingots. This is the easiest way that I've found to make these. And uh, to me, I believe this is definitely the easiest way to get a, a good chunk of uh, carbon ingots. So I used one stack, and I'm going to end up with uh, probably half a stack. So that's not too bad of a conversion rate. I don't really care for doing it the other the other way, because uh, so we need to make heavy duty plates like these. We need compressed carbon, and carbon plates, which you can do carbon mesh. That involves carbon fiber and that involves diamond dust and that's to me that's a complete waste. You know, this way you can just do that. Pop these in here, no. Where can I pop these in? Metal press, okay. That's another thing that I'm kind of annoyed about. Okay. So we can pop it in uh, over here as well, so that's fine. So compactor. To make the carbon plates that we need, and we really just need uh, 13 of them. So if we look in here, we would need 26 uh, compressed dash, uh, and then 13 of each of these, because we're going to go ahead and use a refined bo uh, boosting mixture. Let me make sure I have compressed dash. Got 26 of those. Got 13 of these, 13 of those, and then we just need the compressed carbon. So, to make compressed carbon, the best way would be to uh, use boosting mixture so we get one compressed carbon per plate. So, we need 13 of them. So. Do that. Well, actually, we're not going to be able to do that. Uh, we're going to has to be a multiple of four, so we'll do that. And that's just four boosting mixtures, so boost. Add some spares, so we'll throw those there. We'll come over here and throw these here. Should give us the compressed carbon that we need. Carbon. So this should make us the amount that we need of the plates, but we also need 13. Uh, Refined boosting mixture. Thirteen of these. And uh, eventually I'll have this auto creating and filling with a uh, boosting mixture, but for the time being, manually is more simplistic route for now. Okay, so all of that should be good, and we should be able to pop that in there. All right, there we go. Let's see, heavy duty plates. Pulling them out. We need 50 of them, so we should end up right above 50 if I remember if my math was right. Yeah. All right. Easy peasy, right? We get another 10 there, and we get some other heavy duty plates. 
And that takes us to tier three rockets. So we need to make a tier one booster. We need to make a couple of these. And that's a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't know if we if I kept uh, that stuff saved or not. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I made any of that. I'm gonna have to go ahead and set up the crafting for it, which is fine. So, two one booster. This will be the most painful part of it, I think. Compressed iron, yellow wool. Oxygen vent. How many do I need? Three. Oh, it might give me, yeah. So fuel cell. Du, 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 du. Sometimes I have an issue finding these emptied ones. Okay, empty canister. Okay, so then I should have. Oh, you're down here somewhere. I know there's like a mess. <laughs> uh, mm -mm. Ah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of that out. Does that actually keep its inventory? Certainly did. Now that's interesting. But pull that out real quick. I'll set it somewhere else eventually. There we go. I need okay, so oil. I think it's crude oil, I believe. I'll fill up and uh, I'll fill those up as we go. Okay, so this up, that up. What else do we need? Bronze tanks, easy. Fins, I can probably set that up too, so get the fins going. Compressed titanium, heavy duty plates. Heavy rocket engine. Not really that impressed. Nose cone. In 60k net coolant cells. That might be a pain, to say the least. Uh, medium. Okay, so I need to make. All right, and these I should have some of. Okay, so. Medium block and Jardin block. Put that in there. Still, the only way to make a block that that Let's see medium block like that, and you can go in here. So 
now I've got to turn that off with processing. Uh, okay. That's got to do this. going that's pretty good it's filling up that in there uh, let's see wool I can craft wool craft one craft the yellow wool I have a fair amount of yellow dye, so that's good. Neck. There's two of these. I need sodium cells and I need potassium cells. Now, this isn't exactly hard for me to get. Uh, let's see. So, cells. Sodium cells. Calcite, lithorite. It says clay dust, lazarite dust, sodalite dust. Sodalite mm. is from. Sodalite ore. Do I, am I get in that already? Nope, but I do have a little bit, a little bit more. This I just throw into industrial electrolyzer. I keep meaning to upgrade these now. The power that I have going through them, it should be fine. Though I'm not sure if I upgraded this side or not. That, uh, yeah, it's a cover. Yeah, I don't think I upgraded this side. <laughs> but it still should be getting a fair amount of power. Let's see. Pull these out real quick. That's pretty quick. All right, so I got sodium cells. I must have something in here. Potassium? No potassium. All right. Uh, potassium cells. Okay, so. Saltpeter. Uh, Niter. Saltpeter. Saltpeter. I think this was the easiest one to get because I can make plant oil and pulverized coal. Pulverized coals are right here. I just need a plant oil. Plant oil. Yeah. Pretty easy. Get some wheat. And stack of bone meal.
and they yeah. this is the easiest way to get saltpeter in my personal opinion um as far as niter I guess that's an easy way to get it if you have a bunch of sandstone. I think I might have some sandstone. Let me see. Sandstone. I got some sandstone. Should have a manufactory thing. Thingamabobber. Where's that? Okay. I don't need the food and cheese all that much anymore. Oh. What else do I got? What else do I got? Where else can I move stuff from? Elter, Rock Crusher. Shouldn't really even be using that anymore because now I can I actually already get a bunch of um, iridium from my uh, Void Ore Miner. So, a couple of these machines are fairly useless now. What else can I can I put more? Can I put more than uh more than what I get in there? How many can I put? Let it go. Oh yeah, and uh well well that's doing its thing. So one of the things I did set up is I went ahead and I made a destruction uh plate. So instead of having a pick and uh um a gatherer kind of thing here, using the pick and needing durability and stuff. I set one of these up. I put a Fortune 3 upgrade and some speed upgrades on it, and it's been been able to keep up with uh with the miner pulling out coal and all that good stuff. So I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, and then I also upgraded it, which y'all I'm sure y'all noticed is the cryo stabilized flux ducts. These were pretty simple to make. Um, I can make more of them if I need to. Um. I got one section down there that's not utilizing them, but I just need to make some more of these. But right now, it's uh, I have it set up because I'm producing, uh, I think it's like this one. Both of these are 32, so that's 64. Let's see. Let's sleep real quick. Yeah, see, I think these go up to 32 each. So we've got 64 plus some really low level ones which are only putting out like nothing. But um, I, I played with a few options and the ones that's going to take up the least space are these guys, the advanced power cells. Um, if I get a couple of these, this will be good enough to transfer all the power out. Uh, but for the time being, I, I played around and I set up some other ones. So this whole thing, this whole construct is 19k uh, going out and going in and this one's 20k and then these are each like 5k so yeah it's it's not it's not great setup but um but it'll do for now and it, it allows for the the maximum power to be uh output while still having like a battery backup here See, one of the things i do like about these uh, elite energy cubes is they have a much higher um much higher uh, storage amount you know for a single for a single block and it's four mil here it's 12 mil here this one's 320 mil you know so like I, I don't know like it's I guess it varies it depends like if you want a big old area you can use these power cells power cells are pretty cool um, but they go up uh, I think it's like 1,000 or something like that uh, for every block that you put up this guy is pretty cool. I'm not sure if there's a way to upgrade it though. Um, I've never really messed too much with uh, with the advanced power cell, so I have to I have to see what I can do with it. Um, I can like link it though. I don't know. I know there's a way like to to make it so where it's uh, like powered uh, wirelessly as well. So we upgraded all of that and I have that running down and powering these because they take up a lot of energy, especially this. This guy right here 
And of course I have it running straight down and feeding directly over here because the Void Ore Miner, uh, once we get to the next tier, uh, or once we get to the max tier, so once we get to tier 6, it'll be taking up uh, 35,000 uh, per ore and for it to run at max speed that's what it needs and that's that's what we want we want it running like this well it'd actually be running running faster than this and it'll just be pulling out ores pulling out ores pulling out ores and so that's that's what we really want um what else so that was one of the up uh, upgrades that i had i didn't get to talk to last time uh talk about last time as far as uh, power goes yeah the niter should good let that do another another full set. We'll come out here and see how the plant stuff is going. Okay, so this one, the way it works is like this. And I kind of like this because it's it's not really um, messing anything up. You know what I mean? It's just you just put it in there with your, your orb, and you know it, it just flies. It does does what you need it to do. It's pretty cool. Like the alchemy table to me is is probably one of the cooler items in here. Of course, I'm pretty sure it takes up a little. Let's see if we even see it flinch. Yeah, no. See, we have we have it automated to the point that it just there's nothing. Like I can add more levels and and stuff like that, get another drop of evil, etc. But there's really nothing I need to worry about as far as that goes. It just keeps filling up, and if I need to, I can pull it out and make uh, slates or whatever the case might be let's see okay so I totally forgot what we're supposed to be doing uh, we can even make saltpeter seeds so that might be something I should look into uh, but the reason I was making this was this right here Okay, I totally, I totally forgot. That is so, that is so fast, that is so cool, I like that. I like that so much. Oh, empty. I'm definitely gonna have to make some more of those uh, speed upgrades. And I'll have, uh, I'll have some, some empties pushed into here, so that way it's not, uh, not doing that thing again. Doing that randomness. Um. Okay, so let me pull that out. I only have one. That's one thing that does bother me. There's only one output slot, so. Let's see. That again. So fast. Pressed air, nitrogen, potassium. So, at cooling, we need two, right? Okay, just to make sure. All right, looks good. This one, we need, what, three of them? And this we need... Three heavy rocket engines. Already. I put it over, no, I didn't. Okay, so... This and we'll do this. Technically speaking, the other way would probably be cheaper for us because I have titanium. I just have to see if I have it automated yet. Oh, we'll do that.
three of these. I'm missing buttons and flint and steel. Okay, so flint and steel buttons. Easy peasy. Flint and steel. Easy peasy. What is the issue here? Okay, there it goes. Haven't even checked it. My crafting grid. And so that one. That's from earlier. And a rocket. Okay, so I've got three of these. Three of those. I need a fourth one, okay. Uh, back. Energy flow circuit, which we should have some. Just need two of those. Heavy rocket fins. How many was it? Six of them. See how we're doing on time. We're getting close to the wrapping up point. Let's see if uh, we can get at least this done. Okay. I should have plenty of this. The uh, one to one. That's always one of the biggest issues having everything, every little little bit set up. I guess I need another crafter. Come on, come on. There we go. Right. And that's not turned the right way. There we go. Okay. So. They're working on boosters. Let's see. Should work just fine, but let's keep an eye on the crafting grid. Yeah, everything's getting processed. Ten. That's a process, but. Should be feeding in hopes. Now, if that's not the case, I might need to try and put it more. Oh, 
Oh, it won't. Okay. So then maybe right here. Oh. Okay. Well, that's not cool. So, well, that's that's kind of dumb. Okay. I have to set this recipe up in a little bit then. That's ridiculous. So four to two, right? I don't know why I'm messing with that. Four to two, set, save. This way I have it saved for next time. I can go grab that crafter. Yeah, because it definitely worked. It fed in properly. And I can set it up here. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, what am I missing? All I'm missing is a bronze tank. Oh. I don't have a bronze tank. What? Hardened steel glass. Hold on. Okay, so hardened steel glass. We'll finish this up first. We'll get all the components before I before I disappear from this episode. So steel blend. So steel. One more. Okay, so should be able to throw this over here actually. Grinder. That should be one to one right there. And then to create that, we need hardened and steel blend. So two hardened, one steel blend. this set up. Okay, so this will go into... It won't let me do... 
do it in the other way, so that's fine, I guess. So, induction smelter, hard glass steel blend, steel hard glass. that okay and now we throw this in this guy okay bronze tank Let's try this again. Everything should be available. Let everything craft up. And as soon as that crafts up and we complete this quest, we're gonna have to cut up the episode. It's already running a little long, so. Shouldn't take too long, actually. Don't think, let's see. Almost there. Done. Usually I have a little bit of hardened glass already set aside, but yes, I didn't have nearly enough. Processing four more hardened glass. Short 14. There we go. And bam. This gives us some shock absorbers, iron tanks, some vibranium. All right, cool. Not sure if we have everything we need for this, but for now, this is Elder Vol saying over and out. See you next time, guys and gals.